What I want to deal with in this video is looking at key risks to your organisation. Now, what are risks? Um, classically, the definition is risks are uh, things that may have an impact on achieving business objectives. So, how do we identify them? What can we do? Um, and how can we treat risk so that our business objectives are not adversely impacted? Well, there's nothing better uh, than our homegrown standard AS4360, soon to become an ISO standard, uh, to look at risk management and how we go about it. And it starts off with a model that is dealing with risk, the likelihood of things happening, and the impact if they do. Now, the likelihood really depends on the cause of the risk that you're trying to treat. And there are thousands and thousands of causes, um, and we need to look at some of the main causes of uh, risk events. Those causes um, are the ones that have the effect on your organisation, and it's those effects that have the impact on your business. So you can see from the model that there are three types of intervention that we can consider. The first is actually prevention, so it's trying to cut the link between cause and likelihood. More often than not, that's not possible. It's too expensive to stop all risks happening ever. So the next way we look at things is to mitigate the effects of those risks if they occur. However, Murphy's Law would tell you that some risks that you plan for, uh, the controls fail, the treatments that you have in place are not good enough, and something will happen to impact your business objectives, something that we might call a crisis. And the only thing that we can do then is really recover from the crisis. So you can see that there's a very strong link between risk management, which is the prevention and treatment of risk, and business continuity management, which is the response to a crisis or a risk event if it occurs. The AS4360 risk management process then encourages you to look at risks in groups and use a risk management matrix similar to the one on display. Once you've plotted the major risks on your risk management matrix, you can see that there are some low impact, insignificant risks that you'd probably just live with. The moderate to high risks where you have an impact on your business, you would probably put some kind of risk treatments in place to limit the effect of the risk should it occur. Business continuity management really deals with the bottom right hand corner of that matrix, which is your very low likelihood, but your high impact or catastrophic impact events for which there's really no treatment. If they happen, we know that we'll have to recover, and in order to recover, we need to have business continuity procedures ready and uh, waiting to go. 